Hi, my name is Jonatas. I am architect. This is my channel, our channel about uh, architecture with uh, multidisciplinarity in technology, game, and language. This is my first attempt to, attempt to do, record a video in English. I have to say that I am not I'm not fluent. Okay, I study, but I'm not fluent. And uh, I ask for comprehension of the who are, who are watching. I know that will be uh, wrong words. Uh, I will say wrong word. And uh, uh, with time, I will better my my language, my English. This attempt is to share my channel to more people. The, the con yes, uh, share my channel to more people and uh, practice my English. The video about today is about Le Corbusier, his works and his life. Uh, Le Corbusier was a modernist architecture uh, with heavy, heavy, great works. Uh, he he has a, a legacy. Uh, he is one of the founders of the modernism and the, uh, his his works perpetuum uh, until now until the now now all this. Uh, I will show some images uh, that he, ah this this is a presentation about Le Corbusier with the help of stable diffusion. So during the presentation I will using the stable diffusion to make some images. Uh, in this case, I... <laughs> Sorry. I take this black and white photo of Le Corbusier and uh, make it colorful. Col col color, okay? Uh, this one, color two, Le Corbusier more young. He more age, colorful. This is one of his uh, his paint paintings. He was to a painter. Uh, he was a multi-face artist. He was a architecture, humanist, painting, design, furnish, furniture design. And it, so it is one of his paintings. In this case, I take this paint and I put this style to other images. I like if I was making one of the one of his paintings in all the images. In this case, I take this paint, put the style on this image, and make these images. Okay. So these images, it's like uh, one of your Le Corbusier works. Also. Yes, uh, with stable diffusion, the control net uh, text to instruction text to instru uh, teach to e adapt. E adapt. I will talk more about this in the uh, uh, how can I say? Um, in a time, okay? So Le Corbusier, still, this one is good. 
Uh, I take this is his uh, born city, you know, where he, he borns. So I take and put the one of his one of his drawing, like drawing, and I apply in this photo. So I make how how if uh, Le Corbusier was painting, drawing these photos. One is good. Uh, the result is very cool. He, this is one of his drawing in his travels. Uh, I make it more realistic. Change the style with uh, prompt and the control net. Okay, this is one of his drawing. Uh, but these drawings, the sequence, the sequence of base drawings that I will show is from this book. The Corbusier is uh, the three establishment, the three humans establishment. I think is it okay. Um, here we have a lot of images of urbanism, uh, the urbanism mesh, very a lot of brokies. Uh, okay, so scribbles, scribbles. It's a book about uh, the the reunion in 1942 in the Ascoral. Uh, one reunion with constructors for the reno architectural renovation. It's more so so about as far away. So I take this this image, it, it's not the Marcellus building, but it's similar. And I put some inputs like prompts and control net and making new styles for it. Realistic. Here we have some colors. The follows uh, remember more, much more Marcelia. Can do change the ambience, uh, obje specific objects. The techniques like painting, drawing, how can you say aquarella uh, with painting with uh, wash colors? <laughs> this, uh, how I say, Le Corbusier was to a uh, furniture design, a design. True. Uh, so, this is one of his furnitures, and I make a new style with one of his, one of the in this case, I used the models in CVTI for uh, Nankin, uh, drawing, this kind of stuff. So I changed the style, is Nankin, uh, painting, I don't know how I can say, here in Brazil is aquarela, something like wash colors, I don't know, but uh, is it? The results very good. This one here is how I say one of his his urban mesh. Uh, so in this case we have the trussade, the way of the the road, and more black there. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, there are the buildings. In this case, uh, Le Corbusier uh, said that the buildings had to had uh, how can I say 
as you had uh, shapes uh, like the Y shape. It's uh, for business. This small linear is for residential. Okay. Le, le Corbusier thinks a lot to a humanism urbanist. Uh, he was a enthusiast, technology enthusiast. Uh, he loves a lot technology and he believe that the the cars will remain the city for a long time. So he he projects uh, the city with car, uh, way to cars, uh, but uh, in a in a in a good harmony. Uh, for him, for Corbusier, the the ground is for for people. So he elevate the buildings with pilotis and he make the floor free for people. Uh, he used the road where are people uh, over the ground or uh, uh, above. Above, uh, I don't know, uh, below, below the ground, uh, digging, uh, like this. Uh, but uh, Siri, uh, he believes that the Siri, uh, the human in the Siri had to have a quality of life, uh, like uh, green spaces, culture, uh, as more uh, helps uh, help his buildings, these kinds of, kinds of stuffs. Okay, so continuing here, the images I take this image with control net and make more different stylish. Okay, it's more realistic with prompt. The result is very good. It's a beautiful map of Manesh. With a uh, higher the noise, we have the a free for a more free form of the base image. So in this case, the diffusion change the um, angle of the image. You can see. Sorry. Um, more from bottom. More images. So is it? So let's start to know to know about Le Corbusier, his works and his life. Le Corbusier, architecture that transcends time and inspires the future. Uh, sorry, he, he, this is in Brazilian, but it's about Le Corbusier, presentation. This presentation is a journey to, to explore the architectural landmarks left by Corbusier and his principles, his theories that shapes, shape his approach. This is explore, exploration. Through this explore, exploration, I hope everyone gains a rich, inspiring understanding of the lasting legacy of his master of modern architecture. His uh, name, true name, is Charles Edward Gianni Regris. He was born in 87 and died in 1974. No, as Le, no, as Le Corbusier was architect, urban planner, and multi artist who pioneered modern architecture. Through his built works that have become a legacy, 
and hysterical thinking that continues to inspire generation of architectures. These contributions revolutionized architecture and his influence is still left today. So Le Corbusier was a famous architect in his times, in these times, sorry, in his times, and until now, uh, what he created, his uh, ideology, his studies, his buildings, his architectures, uh, changed the way of thinking and constructing architecture. We will see this. And sure, uh, how we are using stable diffusion. Diffusion. I will talk you a bit of stable diffusion. The stable diffusion will be used to create artistic interpretation of, of the images, adding a unique layer of visual expression. Ah, one, one thing I have to say. This presentation I will put uh, uh, the link on the vid on the biography or the on the biography, okay? Uh, below the video, and you can do the download. Uh, so, uh, just when this was finished, I will put and you can download uh, until the end of this presentation, it will be there. So, continue here. These images will educate, educate on the fundamental principles of Le Corbusier and will also incorporate an innovative approach, such as the use of stable diffusion to aid a contemporary and aesthetic touch of visual presentations. So, why use stable diffusion in architecture? Uh, there are a lot of benefits, like visual innovation. The stable diffusion provides a visual innovation by transforming images in stunning ways. This is particularly relevant in architecture, where artistic expression can be enriched through advanced visual techniques. So with this stable diffusion, you can transform the way that you generate and the presentation images. Uh, uh, getting better results uh, and uh, how can I say? And uh, with these images, your client uh, will be more in love, uh, and uh, you you have a tool for making unique images. Aesthetic exploration. These techniques technique allow for deep aesthetic exploration, enable the creation of visual compositions that go beyond conventional limitations. This is crucial for architects seeking, seeking to transcend traditional aesthetic standards. So if stable diffusion, you can explore aesthetic uh, how uh, in a lot of ways you can, um, with his tools, control that image to image prompt, we can create an analogic draw plus digital draw, make <coughs> putting all these, these tools and make a uh, one great result, unique expression. The several diffusion empowers artists to express their vision in a unique way. In architecture, this means the ability to rep represent space, forms, and structures, a manner that reflects the uniqueness of design and their conceptual intentions. So, what is architecture? Architecture is a <coughs> the the way that the architecture communi communicated, commun commun communicate is through the concept, okay? So, uh, with this, this program, 
You can better uh, approach of what the concept of that you want to transmit, put it in image, and show, show your concept in a better way. Transformation of the elements by applying stable diffusion. It is possible to transform vectoral elements in surprising ways. This may involve manipulating textures, distorting, distorting shapes, or creating visual effects that transcend conventional representations. So, uh, with the stable diffusion, you, you have a lot of tools to you use. For example, you have control net, a lot of control nets that they are getting better, uh, surging news, so uh, a tools uh, in the in the stable diffusion like text to image, image to image in painting, uh, all these varieties of tools uh, can get a impressive impressive result result, visual narrative. The creation of images through stable diffusion is not just a visual representation, but also a way of telling a story. In architecture, this can be used to communicate concepts, inspiration, and ideas behind a project. So, with stable diffusion, you can better show what you want to show. Okay? And through these images, you you are you are telling story uh, how can I say architecture is concept uh, concept uh, this is the communication of the architect the concept so with this uh, the architecture the architecture the architecture can uh, translate more assertive the concept that he wants in the image. Creative challenge. By embracing stable diffusion, architects face a creative challenge that simulates experimentation in the pursuit of innovative solutions. This contributes to the evolution of visual language in architecture. So, when you adopt a new tool like stable diffusion, you are participating of a challenge with yourself where you are uh, you are studying uh, practice uh, learning new things and this is a knowledge that you can use technological integration the incorporation of advanced techniques so she, as a stable diffusion, highlights the integration of technology in architectural practice. This fusion of art and technology represents a step forward in the evolution of discipline. So, with the integration of the technology, is not more natural that with the pass of time, surging new, new technology, new new skills and you incorporate, incorporate these technology skills to yourself and use them. The Corbusier, we will enter in the life of Le Corbusier. Life of Le Corbusier, childhood, childhood. Le Corbusier, whose birth name, how I say, was Charles Edward Janney, was born in Le Chaux de Fonds. Switzerland, in October 6, 1987. His childhood was marked by influence that would lag later shape his unique vision of in the fields of architecture and design. Family environment. Le Corbusier, in this, in this part, will see how the childhood of Le Corbusier uh, by his father and mother influenced the 
way that he will take in the rest of your life. He, his father was a very artistic. His father was a, a art, how can I say? His father was um, a watchmaker. Watchmaker, yeah, uh, artesão. I don't know how can I say in English. And his mother was a musician. Uh, his father uh, gave to him materials like to make paint, to paint and drawing. And all of these things influence in the decisions that Le Corbusier took from the, from the rest of his life. Family environment. Le Corbusier grew, grew up in an artistically rich environment. His father, Charles Janeret, was a skilled watchmaker, while his mother, Marie Charlotte Amélie Janeret Perret, was a talented pianist and musician. His early exposure to art and craftsmanship played a crucial role in the shaping his grinding. Early artistic endeavors. From a young age, Le Corbusier showed an interest in the visual arts. His father, father encouraged his artistic abilities by providing him access to the drawing and painting materials. His early forays into art were fundamental to the development of his artistic perspective and aesthetic sense. So let's go to stable diffusion now. This image is Le Chaux de Fond. Uh, uh, he is in Portuguese, I will translate. So uh, we will take these pictures and make a new stable diffusion. I will take a print. We'll use this one. We will go to image to image. I will paste this here. Uh, take the dimension. Okay, the dimension instead of the fusion must be higher than uh, five five hundred eleven. So I will. Take this to more, 600, I don't know how I can say it. Okay. Uh, sampling method, method will be A, L, A. E. And uh, what we will do, we will do this image uh, transforming how Le Corbusier was painting this image with his skills. I have here some of his drawings. Here. We have these drawings. I will choose one and we will put it on the control net. I will take this. This looks similar. A uh, image of a landscape, city landscape. We will go to Control Net, Enable, Upload, Independent Control Image. When this open, I will paste. And we will choose the text to image adapter. Or instruction adapter, I don't remember. Uh, but it is T to E. I adapt it. Uh, I will choose style clip vision. It takes you to e adapt style. Okay, so now um, we will generate the first image. We don't we don't uh, change the values of the CFG scale, the noise, but we will see how works the first image. 
the process prep process so is running okay it started so we have this image here It takes the, the styles of the reference, okay? But the final results, the composition is differ, different from the base image. How can I correct this? I will put one more control net. In this case, can and I choose is change. So is it I will generate and you will see with the scan the base image will be more, more controlled by the control net and the final result will be more similar to the base image. Is running the the model Kenny, the Kenny model. So here now we can see a more fidelity with the final image with the base image. The reference image, the Kenny image, okay? So it is more controlled. Can change the values uh, to make more fidelity to the base image. Uh, let's down the, the noise range, 55, 0.55. With uh, this value, 55, we 0.55 we can take a image more fidelity uh, from the base image so it takes the the strong color it uh, are more more colorful, more strong. We have more details. We can try to other sorry, try choose other kind of control net. Uh, for example, ML is I don't know how I can say this in English. MLSD. I don't know if it's it, but it, we will generate. And then let's see what will, we will happen. So it's running the model. Uh, this it started. You can see here. And this is the results of MLSD. <coughs> this control net is more linear. More in this like like this okay uh, Ken is more detailed so uh, we can a crescent more detail uh, I the prep 
pré-processo resolution. I will put the this value one mean think this value one how how can you say this one million is not it and eleven but let's generate 102, but okay, it's right here. See what uh, it's happening. So it started. <clears throat> we have uh, more detail. Maybe, and uh, here, uh, maybe more detailed, but not more. In this case, I recommend the use if you want to uh, follow the basic reference. Use Ken, for example. We can try with Scribble. Let's generate. <clears throat> it is finishing. So here is our image with uh, with scribble. We have a. Uh, uh, a uh, more free image. In this case, to follow the base image, more fidelity, is recommend to use Ken. Let's see, try another image. So, uh, so I will take this bellow. Take the dimensions. A okay, more than more than fifty uh, fifty hundred eleven, so it's okay. And I will take a different image reference. Let's try something like something. Like this, we can try. I will make a cut on the part that I, I want. So I will enter and cut it. To help the stable diffusion to focus in what it must use it. Okay, this will be the image reference. We'll save. Open and paste here in text to image adapter. The I will enable able okay able enable I will record enable the I will turn off the control net and we will see with the first 
of a first attempt. Only with uh, text to Im image adapter. So we need a controller here. Let's call Kenny. I will enable Kenny. Um, okay, and make a new image. Okay, it does, it works. This is not can, this is scribble. Let's check, let's confirm. Okay, it's scribble. I will put can. I recognize for the map. This is a scribble map. And let's generate again. Let's see what uh, is happening. Started. Okay, it looks good. So we have here a new image with with this refer <laughs> with this reference from into this image. So the results looks good. I like it. Um, and make it, it with a higher than noise, like 70, 75. How much higher is the than noise, more the, the, if I am correctly, correctly, more the reference image will be uh, use it, okay? Yes, it is more similar the color, uh, more paste, more varnish, Vanish. Okay, let's try. <coughs> and how can I say, Jimmy? Uh, bellow the control weight twenty five. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, uh, he, he, this is the weight of the control net. The control net, in this case, of the, I use the wrong control net. It's not can that I want to change, okay? I will put it on again, and it will go to texture to image adapter. And here, I will put it, this point 0.25. Let's go again. So 
so I can see that that uh, less less way we have more fidelity with the original photo. Okay, a higher way will more fidelity from the reference. So I will higher the value. Where is it? Here. Two one seventy five in January. <coughs> Let's see what uh, it's happening. Started. Ah, okay. Uh, in this case, if the cont the weight of the control is high, <laughs> will be try to be using this composition of an image. So what we have is these results. Okay, and. Uh, I recommend, uh, in this case, uh, put one, and this is it. Let's continue with the presentation of Corbusier. Formation, uh, formal education. Le Corbusier studied at the, at the School of Art in Le Chaux de Fonds, where he had the opportunity to delve into a discipline such as architecture, and apply arts. His formal education included learning architectural techniques and, and exploring concepts that would later, later be crucial. Sorry, be crucial in his career. Moving to Paris in 1907, Le Corbusier moved to Paris, the cultural and artistic epicenter of the time. This movie marked the beginning of his immersion in the vibrant Parisian art scene, Parisian art scene, where he came into contact with movements like Cubian, Cubism, uh, later created Purism, which will be influenced his approach in, into our architecture. So uh, when Le Corbusier lived, uh, was existing in the same time as Cubism. But he, he absorbed a, a lot of things, but in the end of the way, he said, no, I, I don't agree with a lot of stuffs. I don't agree with the this lot of information. I want something more purism, more simple, so simple. So he created the purism. The Corbusier childhood, and education not only reveal his origins in artistic environment, but also pointed to be experiences that prepare him to become one of the most influential architects of the 19th century. This section is to shed light of the early years of his life and the influence that shaped the man behind the name Le Corbusier. So it takes a long time, I will finish the, this video here. In the next video, we will take these photos and turn it in color, colorized color these photos. Okay, it will be great. If you like the channel, please uh, uh, likes and uh, sign me on the channel. Thanks.